Michael Jackson's own nephew, Jafar Jackson, will be playing the King of Pop in the Michael biopic. And I've spoken to people who have seen the test footage. I've also talked to sources who are saying Oprah is trying to kill this biopic. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And look, I believe Michael Jackson is innocent. I'm no longer afraid to say it. So many people in this town are. I encourage if you have an open mind and you want to have your mind blown, go learn more about this. I spoke to Taj Jackson, another family member of uh, Michael's, his nephew. Uh, and I did two interviews with him a while back that really opened my eyes and made me look into Square One. Look up Square One on YouTube. It's a documentary. It'll give you all new insight. I like to start all my Michael videos this way because I know there's still a lot of people, particularly in America, who refuse to accept the reality of this story just because of an HBO documentary. I encourage you, you can also look up Lies of Leaving Neverland if you really want to learn more about that documentary and how the two people in it aren't being honest with you. Now, I've been following this movie closely because look, I'll be honest. I'm always honest with you guys about this sort of stuff. This movie could be amazing or it could be awful. And really the, the thing that was most worrisome for me is who do you get to play Michael Jackson? Well, I spoke to Taj again. Taj was out there. Uh, he, he, he did a tweet and I spoke to him on the phone briefly to get his insight on this casting news. And uh, yeah, the news is his own nephew, Jafar Jackson, son of Jermaine will be playing Michael in this biopic directed by Antoine Fuqua, who I think is a fantastic director. I'm very excited. This film's also written by the same guy, John Logan, who did Sweeney Todd, Rango, uh, The Aviator, Skyfall. Uh, and uh, look, I, 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 this this is all good signs. Really good screenwriter. Look at that. Sweeney Todd, Skyfall, Rango, Av Aviator. Um, uh, there was uh, Last Samurai I really like. Gladiator. I mean, come on. This guy's got some really good credits. Let's hope this goes in the good end. Uh, it's being produced by Graham King, who also did The Aviator, as well as Bohemian Rhapsody. Last, huge hit last Departed, The Town. Uh, Graham has done a lot of fantastic work, and I'm hearing it's Graham King himself who is actually incorporating the family into this film. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Jackson estate is who currently owns all the rights to Michael's music, et cetera, not his family. And uh, I, it's always unclear as to how involved the family gets to be in certain things, but I'm told Graham has made sure that the family is involved in the steps of this process to ensure that the film is honest and real. And as Deadline uh, reveals here as well, aside from the casting of Jafar, which I'll get to you in a second, uh, Taj's quotes on Jafar, uh, they are not going to shy away from all the complicated stuff. Uh, including the accusations that haunted his latest years up until his death from cardiac arrest caused by cocktails of sedatives. The film will not shy away from the controversies of Jackson's life. I'm told that's that they're being very clear that they do not want this to be just the simple puff piece, yada, yada, yada. The producers and everyone involved, including the state, realize they need to tell a truthful story here. Truthful story is he's innocent, right, guys? But a lot of people won't accept that. And it's hard to convey all of that in a movie as well as the Jackson 5, his musical history. So I'm very curious how they're going to play all this. Uh, they got to please the fans, right, of, the, of Michael. They got to then try to combat people who think he's guilty when he's not. All this stuff is going to make this movie a lot more complicated. However, the biggest thing at all is the casting. Who on earth could play Michael Jackson and pull this off? Well, they got... They, they kept it in the family. And from what I'm told from uh, Taj, I spoke to a lot of people on and off the record on this. And the only one I can quote here on this is Taj, who spoke to me about the casting alone. And uh, yeah, he was he was very clear on like how amazed he was at this footage. Now he said here specifically, here's his tweet. They found the perfect and only person who could play my uncle in this biopic. I cried with pride after seeing Jafar's makeup hair screen test yesterday. Not only did he embody Michael Jackson, he had the tone, voice cadence, the mannerisms, everything. And there is Jafar uh, doing sort of his own tests. I'm humbled and honored to bring my Uncle Michael's story to life. To all the fans over the world, I'll see you soon. Uh, and there's Miles Frost, who plays Michael in the, in the Broadway show, who won a Tony, mind you, for it, uh, showing the love. Uh, so look, Taj, Taj elaborated a little bit more. He's like, look, I, I went in very skeptical. He knows, obviously, family Jafar. And he said it was pretty much immediate. He stopped seeing Jafar and he saw his uncle again, and he was totally emotional about it. He, he's made it very clear that no one could play Michael. He's said it all the time. I don't know how you do this movie. How do you get someone who's going to embody Michael the way? Uh, he said, I thought it was impossible to cast Michael until I saw this. Jafar owned it. 
has become has becomes Michael. He was lost in it, and it makes the more sense to get someone who's an actual relative of Michael to go in there. Now there are going to be some skeptics saying, "Oh, well, of course the estate's getting the family," but I, I don't see it that way. I see this as well, duh, brilliant move. How, who else can can deal with this without doing a a you know bad impression or it's such a tough person to, to try to not only emulate and do well. But then also, like, is this a caricature? What are you doing? The voice, everything else. To have someone, a Jackson himself, actually be able to pull this off has definitely gotten me more excited. So, look, consider me intrigued. Now, there is some stuff I've heard about this. I'm glad to hear that Graham King, uh, it's Graham King, the producer, is involving the family, as it should. They obviously would have a lot more insight than anybody, any of us, on, on Michael and his history and what happened. So I'm glad that Graham is incorporating the family, and I hope the state and Graham can continue to, to create that collaborative uh, environment. And I'm glad to hear they're not going to shy away from some of the tough stuff. And I implore you guys, do your homework. If you're still on the fence about Michael, you're like, Andy, how can you be here defending Michael? I'm telling you, go watch those documentaries. Do a little bit more research. You'll learn it was always about the money. It was always about the money. The, the two accusers in Leaving Neverland were literally, like, loved him even after his death and turned on him, particularly the one, Wade, because he didn't get the Cirque du Soleil show. He couldn't be his choreographer. So then he started shopping a book. It's so sketchy, the amount of details. Things were reshot. I have I have videos on it. You can go look at look at those two videos I made. Um, it doesn't surprise me, though, to also hear rumors from a separate source who is nameless, uh, who I do who I do trust, telling me that there's rumors out there that Oprah Winfrey herself is trying to put the kibosh on this. She's trying to put the kibosh apparently on anything that alleds to, that attempts to, you know, point the light towards the truth of Michael Jackson because she committed to telling, uh, to doing the Leaving Neverland documentary. She was involved. She did a whole interview series afterwards with other, uh, you know, uh, people who have gone through similar things. Uh, she put her brand hard on the Michael Jackson is guilty camp when all through her whole life, including after his death, she was the first one to interview the kids and everybody else. Michael made her career guys. If you don't know the history of Oprah and Michael, she is such a snake in my opinion on the way she pivot on this. And if you want to learn more specifics and not just me saying my opinion here, but sharing some more examples of why Oprah isn't as good as, as she claims to be and why I feel like she should just own this and say, look, yeah, I guess there was more to Michael here. I should let the viewers make their decision versus do this clearly biased hit piece and make it as if it's fully factual. You can uh, learn more on this Oprah Exposed video as well as I did another one where I called out Oprah because there was a point there where Britney was going to speak to her. I'm hoping that is now not happening. Uh, we will see, though, what happens. But to hear that Oprah is trying to stop this doesn't surprise me. Um, look, Michael Jackson is a global icon. Across the globe, I, I've seen it's, it's here in America where a lot of people are still, you know, in doubt of him. The rest of the world, they love Michael. They always will. And so it, it bothers me. The man's no longer here to defend himself. He had his day in court. They lost. Everybody could have come forward. In fact, the two accusers who came forward after the fact on HBO were the ones who helped seal the deal to make sure he got off because they spoke about how amazing Michael was and how he would never do such a thing. So it's immensely heartbreaking to see them now change their tune and play like they're victims when I'm sorry, I don't buy it. I don't believe you tell such an emotional story about your accuser in a documentary and then come back and reshoot it with the same wardrobe and fake props. I'm telling you guys, there's so much shenanigans behind the scenes of Leaving Neverland. It is just, it's tragic. It's truly tragic. Do your homework. Get excited for Michael again. You're allowed. Uh, the music is amazing. I will always be a fan. And I will say I am I am optimistic here about this. As long as the family gets to still be involved, and I hope they are, I'm excited about this. It sounds like they are going to be involved. And as long as they really do handle all this honestly and don't just sugarcoat it, which it seems like the producers are going to try to avoid, uh, man, I, I, I this, this could be good. It could be good. I'm not going to hear and say it's amazing because I haven't seen it yet. I haven't read a script. But I'm crossing my fingers and I'm hopeful. What do you guys think? Honestly, how how impossible to cast Michael Jackson? The Broadway version, Miles Frost does a great job, but this could be even better. What do you think? Are you, are you optimistic? Hit that subscribe button. Before you hit the subscribe, can you hit that bell though as well? Hit the bell for alerts. Smash that like button. Leave your comments on the Michael Jackson movie down below. What do you think? Have you watched Square One? Have you watched Lies of Leaving Neverland? Have you checked out Hugging the Cactus and my interviews with Taj Jackson? 
because if you haven't, you should. Also, give Taj a follow. He also is always keeping it honest out there. Appreciate you guys so much. We'll be live later today talking about this and so much more news. I hope to see you there. Hit that subscribe button, everybody. Thanks again. Hoo -hoo.